All right, let us get right to it. These will be my picks for the other major categories. I did Best Actor and Best Actress on the other channel. So let us get right to some of the big ones here. Best Director. Well, this will probably be obviously between Christopher Nolan and Yorgos with Poor Things. I think Nolan will win it, but I think Yorgos deserves it. Because even though Yorgos may win, I think, again, Nolan has waited long enough. Usually there's a lot of horse trading. Like, even the person who deserves to win, they'll be like, Nolan may take, what, one or two years to do the next film. So I think they'll realize, no, no, you know, he's waited long enough. So it'll go to Nolan, though I think Yorgos deserves it technically. Same thing with film editing. I think it'll be a split here in terms of who deserves it. Yes, Oppenheimer was good. Poor Things was better, but Killers will win for film editing. I think it actually did the best film editing, but Poor Things was also very, very well done. But I think it'll definitely be a toss-up between those two. And then we get into Sound, which I think Oppenheimer will probably win, but the creator is technically a little bit better, although I had a lot of issues with the creator, including sound editing, actually. So it's kind of ironic. But yeah, Oppenheimer will probably get Sound. Then we get costume design. I know people will pick Barbie, but I actually think Napoleon did it best. Probably Barbie will get it, but if there's an upset, Napoleon will get for costume design. And then one of my favorite categories, of course, cinematography. Oh boy, this is really going to really rile people. I think Oppenheimer was no slouch in terms of cinematography. But in terms of pure quality, I'd have to give it to Killers. I think Scorsese probably did the best job there. Again, of these picks. Poor Things, again, is always very, very excellent. However, in terms of this particular category, breathtaking cinematography with Killers, they just spent a lot of time and money to make things look amazing. And that is the category, so I'm gonna go with Killers. So Killers is coming up pretty well with a lot of categories. I'm gonna go with Oppenheimer. Does it deserve it? No, no, but again, I think, again, Oppenheimer is gonna sweep a lot of categories, but to provide balance, it'll lose in other categories, but I think for whatever reason, they're gonna give Nolan some easy wins here and there, so, eh, kind of discussing music is pointless. Again, Oppenheimer was effective. I'm not saying it was bad music. I just think Nolan will be getting a lot of consolation prizes just because he hasn't won in other years. So I think people will be like, well, he deserves it for this year. Best visual effects. Well, I want Godzilla to win. But I think Guards of the Galaxy was also very, very strong. As technically was Mission Impossible. So Godzilla is the odds on favorite. But I'd have to say Guardians 3 should win. It will go to Godzilla minus 1. And then we get Best Original Song, No Contest, Barbie is going to win that. And there we go, that's my picks for some of the major categories for the Oscars 2024. Have a good day.